Hi everyone, Omar Kazarski here, Creative Director of BauerWebSolutions.com, www.BauerWebSolutions.com, and I'm going to continue on our brief introduction to WordPress showing you how to edit or add a page to your site. It's very similar to adding a post, so um, I won't recap everything that was done in the previous video, how to edit a post, uh, but if you have specific questions you can refer to that video as well. So once again we have our uh, uh, site here as the general public sees it and we talked before about the blog posts that are listed in here, uh, but right now I want to talk about a page. So one of the pages that make up our site is this about page. So that's the one I'll be uh, working on. I'll show you how to edit this and then subsequently I'm going to show you how to uh, add a new page to your site as well. So as in always, if you're not logged in, you need to log into your site. Okay. Now, when I'm logged in, um, what I find easier if I want to edit a page is I log in and then I visit the site here by the link here in the top left hand corner and then you know just peruse the site like you would as a normal user and once you get to the site that you want to edit ah here it is here's the about page I want to edit this I can go here to the top of the screen to the edit page and then I'm right there um, otherwise I'd have to log in go to the pages section here on the left hand side and look through the list of pages here that I want to edit ah here's the about page and I can move my mouse over that and click edit in this particular case, yes, it's not a big deal. There's only three pages, but if you have a WordPress site that consists of, you know, dozens of pages, sometimes, you know, surfing the site and then editing the page might be a little bit easier for you. So you can see here we have content already in here. Um, we talked about all of these different uh, uh, aspects as far as the editor goes. There's a couple of uh, things that I want to mention here. Uh, but very briefly, you know, if I to do a to a, to do an edit is really just a matter of just simply typing. This is our about page. Hope you like it. All right, and as I mentioned before, you know, you can highlight your text and bold make it a paragraph, you know, all the different things here. I showed you how to make a link. We also talked about this button here at the hide or show the kitchen sink that gives you that second level of of choices here. A um, couple of things I did want to mention in uh, to add upon our knowledge uh, previously explained within the how to edit a post video is that when you're editing a post, or in this case a page, you have two editing modes within WordPress. We've been using the visual editor, which is, it's not an exact what you see is what you get. It's, or WYSIWYG is sometimes referred to by its acronym. It's kind of what you see is more or less what you get. I mean, the really proof in the pudding is to actually kind of view this page. Let me first update it first. Really, to really see what it looks like is to, to, to view the page. But you can see here the content is practically identical to what we had but so the visual editor does his best to kind of give you an accurate representation from a visual standpoint of what the site looks like um, however there may be times you need to actually despite what WordPress is doing behind the scenes there is coding usually HTML coding responsible for displaying pages on a website once in a while you might need to access that text coding. So they give you the option here to view it visually or by text. And when I say by text, you can see here that this section here has tags around it indicating this is a heading three. Or in the case here, if you recall, I made this italics to add emphasis to it. It added the EM open and closing tags to it for that. So you can also see here that although they give you buttons here to add some of that coding responsible for, you know, bolding and italics and lists and things of that sort, uh, it doesn't give you all the visual in, uh, features as the visual mode 
did. So I'm going to switch back to that. Uh, but just bear in mind that you do have those those two modes there. All right. And I can make my changes and then update them and then they're live on the web. Uh, one thing I want to mention with this new version of WordPress, which runs again as of this video, is 3.6.1. They've added um, not a new feature, but a refinement to an existing feature. That is revisions. So if I look here on the right-hand side, and this revisions feature will be available whether you're dealing with a post or a page, I can see this particular page has three revisions. And I can browse for it. And then I can see a list of the differences between uh, the revisions here. And I can kind of go back and forth here. What I'm going to do to give you a little bit more uh, of a history of the revision to give you a better example, let's look at this home page here. I'm going to edit the home page. And this home page went through six revisions from its beginning to end here. So I can see the differences between the two, and I can kind of scroll through here or use this previous button to show, you know, the, the previous version. So I can bring it to a point like, if I liked it to the point where it said, welcome to my WordPress site, I hope I hoped you liked it, I had fun creating it. Or maybe I want to bring it back to where it just simply said, I hope you like it. When I click restore this revision, it reverts the page back to that green version. So in this case, it restored it back to the way it looked like back in October 16th. And if I update that, so those changes would stay in place, I can view the page, and now my page has changed. All right. So what I want to show you now is just how to add media to your page. And the way that you add media, like say a picture or a PDF, is the same here in dealing with editing your page as it would with uh, editing a post. So I can click on this Add Media choice here, and I have one of two choices. Either if I've uploaded something already, I can insert media from my library. So I'm going to find a picture that I already have here that I uploaded a while ago, the Bauer Web Solutions logo. I can choose it, and I can make it centered, make it left. If I want it to link to something, change the size of it. But I say, yeah, everything looks good. I'll just say insert into post. There it is. Okay? Um, now let's say I wanted to add a picture that I haven't used before on my site. Once again, I'll click on Add Media. And this time, instead of saying Media Library, I'm going to click on this little choice here to the left of that that says Upload Files. So I can either drag a file directly onto this area from, say, my desktop, or it might be easier in this case. I'll just click on this button here that says Select Files. I'll find a file that I want to add. I'll choose that. And again, I've mentioned this in previous videos, but you really, really, really need to optimize your photos before you go through this process of uploading the files via the media button here. And we have a separate video on this of how you can do this online and for free, optimizing your videos for the web. So I've, I've uploaded this picture to the library. I can add additional information if I choose to, like uh, the title or a caption, choices about its alignment, the size, etc. But I'll say, you know what, that's fine. I'll just leave it as it is, and I'll insert into the page. And there is my uh, picture of my leaves posted there. So I'll, let me update this and view this page. And there it is. All right. So that's a little brief overview of creating or editing an existing page, which you'll see for the most part, it's, it's very similar. It's almost practically identical to that of creating a post. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to make a new page from scratch, which is really just a simple matter of clicking the button that says new page. But we're going to also incorporate how to 
uh, add that new page to your navigation menu. So that is something important to know as well. So thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Omar, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions. And again, if you have any questions or problems regarding your own WordPress site or you want to hire us or use us uh, uh, for any of your web design services or perhaps enroll in one of our support plans, please contact us at www.bauerwebsolutions.com. Thanks for watching.